Innovate showcases cutting-edge banking and financial technology through a global conference series featuring short-form demos and thought leadership. Now, the conversation continues on the Finnovate podcast. Welcome to the Finnovate podcast. This is Greg Palmer. Today, I am chatting with Janice Diner, the founder and CEO of Horizon. Horizon has been on stage at Finnovate many times over the past few years, and they recently won Best of Show at Finnovate Europe in Berlin. Janice, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. So for people who haven't had a chance to see your demo videos or heard of Horizon before, can you give us a quick overview of what you guys are all about? Yeah, Horizon helps banks solve what we think is one of the number one challenges existing with digital innovation. How to get bank customers en masse to adopt and regularly use bank existing and new digital capabilities. We become obsessed with the human side of innovation. With our methodology, we're focused on digital awareness, fluency, and adoption. We have a SaaS platform we use globally with leaders that want to succeed in digital transformation and adoption. And the platform sort of has access for banks across the full ecosystem. So think about it as digital customer readiness across all channels. Yeah, it's been really fun to watch the evolution of of your guys' product. And I think one of the things that is really clear is that getting customers educated and engaged is a real challenge for financial technology because as cool as the technology can be, if you can't get people to actually use it, it doesn't really matter. And you guys take this two-sided approach to uh, getting customers on board by educating both bank employees and their customers about what new technologies can do. Can you talk a little bit about why it's so important to engage both sides of that at the same time? Yeah, so it's really interesting. Quite early on, we had this aha moment, right? When we realized that we were teaching humans about innovation, how to bank digitally, and that the software didn't care what your human title was, whether it was employees or customer. We needed to get everyone quickly and comfortably banking digitally. So it didn't matter whether you were a beginner or, you know, or whether you were an experienced native, we needed to get you comfortable with both basics and advanced features of the mobile app. From a customer standpoint, we make sure the customers are aware of the latest innovation. We have a proprietary uh, digital demo methodology that is used by both employees and customers to practice mobile and online banking, like in a risk-free environment. So instead of the you know, old school 50-page PDFs or watching videos, customers can really touch and feel the digital innovation and get comfortable using it. It's really uh, both great for, for, as I mentioned, for experienced digital customers who need to know awareness of all the new innovation that's coming to market. And then from an employee perspective, we are 100% focused on making sure all the bank employees in branch and specifically in the contact center right now understand all the innovation and that they're very comfortable when the customer calls or when the customer goes into branch talking digital and sharing digital stories and digital knowledge with the bank customers. I think anybody who has been in the fintech industry sometimes feels like there's this bubble, right? That you you live and operate inside this fintech bubble and we see all these amazing technologies, we see all these cool things happening and that doesn't necessarily port over to the outside world. And you know, if you go to a, a party or something where you encounter your, your relatives or social contacts and they ask you, what do you do? And you can have a hard <laughs> time telling them what it is actually that you do in, in a way that they can understand. And yet, clearly, there are people out there who need these technologies. And, and I think that's probably never more true than it is right now. You know, if you look at the way we're responding to the situation with COVID-19, where bank branches are closing, call centers are getting overloaded, digital banking has sort of all of a sudden moved from a nice to have, you know, something that you can offer as a bank to something that uh, is now the only way to do banking. And and based on some of the conversations we've had uh, ahead of time, it sounds like that Horizon is working really closely with banks around this and how to communicate with customers about what's out there right now. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys are doing around COVID-19 and how you're engaging with banks who are now finding it all of a sudden extremely important that their digital solutions work and that their employees and customers really understand what they are? Yeah, so um, thanks. It's, it's, it's actually, we're, we're quite humbled 
and honored to be helping. So, you know, we're very committed to doing our part with this and making sure the bank customers understand and know how to bank digitally right away. So immediately, our bank customers globally think U.S. Bank, M&T, Lloyds, HSBC, amongst others, started to use our customer direct platform and digital demos as part of their COVID-19 mission-critical communication to their customers. We're seeing things like the digital demos on the homepage of banks globally, on COVID landing pages, either linking to demos or having the demos uh, embedded right in the page. We've seen a whole bunch of senior executive email communications, even CEOs sending links on how to bank or how to send money, um, how to pay a bill. We've also seen things like paid social media posts and ads that link to demos. And of course, we cannot forget call centers are experiencing tremendous volumes. There's long waits on the call. So we help the the call center staff both understand how to do it, but also be able to share demos and uh, we're integrated into chat support or chat bots. So very, very important right now. We're seeing overall about a two, three times increase in volume. And then originally in the first few weeks, I mean, it's moving really fast. So at the basics, like you think about customer basics, depositing a check, paying a bill, setting up payments, but we're actually moving to digital readiness across all lines of business. Wealth management, business banking, all have become really important. Um, and then recently, like a few days ago, American Banker did a feature on m and Bank which you can go see online that talks about how we're helping in this crisis. So we're really grateful to be able to help. And we know firsthand how hard the banks are working, like 24-7 in some case, to make sure they can support the customers in this crisis. Well, I think one of the things that's kind of caught everybody by surprise is how quickly the situation has unfolded, how quickly things have escalated. Yeah. And, and I think that you know, it's not a surprise to hear you say that banks are having to work so hard to try and engage their customers and assure their customers and, and just keep them happy and secure. And, and obviously, this is having a big ripple effect for you guys as well. You know, so I, I think it's only really been a couple of weeks since uh, we have been in this situation. And just for the record, we're recording this on April 3rd. So if you're listening to this after the fact, the situation may have changed in the next couple of weeks as things are, seem to be changing rapidly uh, on a day-by-day, week-by-week basis at this point. But talk to me a little bit about how you guys are uh, able to work that quickly. Because if you... If you had come to a banker before all this had started and said, you know, in two weeks, you can have a different digital education strategy, a lot of them would say that's impossible. You simply can't do anything in that short of amount of time. And now here we are in a position where that's exactly how much time has elapsed. And you guys are able to get in front of people and actually have a a really big impact on, on their responses. Can you talk about how you're able to kind of move that quickly and engage people that quickly? Well, I, I think it's it's two two prong. One, we've been doing this a long time, and we do it with a lot of banks, right? So we're 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 very. Um, it's a good product, and the product is, is very robust. But really, what we've also seen is our bank clients themselves, right in the C suite, are super supportive, and a lot of things are opening up. So you know, right away we see the digital demos on bank websites for self-discovery, like inside product pages, inside FAQ pages, support pages, so that customers can self-discover things. We're seeing that, like I mentioned, the email marketing campaigns, very, very important for adoption. We're seeing search engine optimization, discoverability. Now, some of these things were obviously in play or live with our clients ahead of time, but not everything and not all clients. So everyone has turned around very, very fast to make sure we can do that. And of course, make sure that the call center really, really is supported, both with the ability to talk, to share digital demos on call support and the support page integration to minimize the shorten the times. We see on average, I would say 25% increased digital adoption and we're reducing call center times down by... 45 seconds on average is sort of the stats. It's amazing. And we're seeing probably two to three times increase in usage, maybe more. Um, it's moving so fast, it's hard yeah. to even keep track, right? 
Yeah, well, I mean, one of the things, if there's, if there are some positives that are coming out of this, and I'm not going to say that they justify all of the the negative points and the pain that many people are experiencing, but one of the positives, I think, is that it's sort of proving how fast the industry can move if it wants to, when there's that yeah. motivation to actually change in this way, that it is possible to move that quickly. And I hope that's something that people remember after the fact, that in these moments, you know, it is possible to, in two weeks, make an adjustment and, and actually get something new launched and supported. Um, Obviously, you want to make sure you're dealing with trusted providers who have the experience necessary. But when, when you've got that match, that you can actually move quickly. I, I think we want to take a step back, though, and talk more about just generally the Horizon platform. You know, how do you guys transform how banking customers learn? You know, can you talk a little bit more about the customer platform and the digital demos? You, you referenced them a couple of times and just want to make sure everybody understands exactly what we're talking about here. Yeah, so the the customer platform, think of it as a hub, right, that hosts the digital demos. And the digital demos are a micro-learning methodology, a simulation methodology that allow the customer and the employee to walk through how a feature or um, asset might work, right? So, and there could be pop-ups and information that give cues along the way, but we really make sure that it's broken down into small digestible bits of information. Right. And then once it's in the hub or the customer direct platform, it then can be distributed everywhere. So this idea that we should be touching customers anywhere and everywhere right away and, and, and doing it fast, given, you know, what's going on is so important. And what we've done is very quickly turn around an offer to be able to get new banks up and running within two weeks with the basics. You know, get the platform up and running, move fast, get it up, run, up and running fast with the basics. Deposit a check, pay a bill, you know, transfer money with Zelle or another solution. All of this is really, really important for those who haven't banked digitally. And then move on to the more complex things. Yeah, and uh, we are approaching the end of our time. But just for, for anybody who's curious, you can see all of Horizon's demo videos online at finnovate.com slash video, including their most recent one in, in Berlin where they won Best of Show. But you can see the evolution of the product over the last couple of years and, and how you guys have continued to push it forward, which is really cool. And as we, uh, there's the bell, as we approach the, the end of this call, I do just want to talk quickly uh, about something new that you guys are doing. You guys have set up a quick to market starter package for banks specifically who are in that kind of critical need of responding to COVID-19. Can you just end by talking really quickly about what that starter package is and, and how people can engage with you if they want to learn more? Yeah, so it's a short-term license package of our cloud-based digital platform and digital demos. We're getting them up and running within two weeks. I mean, maybe even faster if the bank uh, can move faster. And we think we're putting in sort of the top five to 10 journeys right away. I'm going to read you something, just quickly a quote from one of our clients and maybe end with that. Our senior managing committee, including the vice chairman and our chief digital officer, is actively talking about your product. It is critical to our COVID-19 customer communications. and So we're getting lots of messages from our clients that way. So we really want to make sure that we pass this offer to new banks because we really are humbled by being able to help banks and their customers manage their money digitally. I think that's an excellent place to end it. That's such a cool quote. And um, I'm sure that there are many others that you could have picked from as well. But I think, uh, you know, for anybody who's interested in learning more, I would encourage you to reach out really explore Horizon and what they can do because it's a cool product and it's never been more relevant, I think, than, than it is right now. So, um, well, Janice, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy, busy schedule to talk with me. I'm sure the next couple of weeks will be very busy for you as well. And I really appreciate you making the time. Thank you very much. And remember, it's Horizon, H-O-R-I-Z-N.com. And it's Janice at Horizon if you want to reach out to me directly. Perfect. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. The Finnovate podcast is produced by Informa Connect in association with Provoke.fm Media. Check out Finnovate.com for information on Finnovate's upcoming shows and to learn how you can get involved. The discount code Finnovate Podcast will save you 20% on tickets to all of our events. And you can email us at info at for information on sponsoring, speaking, or demoing. Thanks for listening.